podcast. My name is Betsy, and today we have our interviewers Janelle, Jaden, Cindy Lou, and Mr. Smith. And we got Coach Andy with us. And of course, we have our members from the Equestrian Club. And so, first off, I'm going to uh, ask the first question, question, which is, can you guys introduce um, for us? Um, well, I guess I'll start. Um, I'm Shay, and I'm in the 11th grade. And the type of discipline that I ride is hunter jumper, and I've been riding for four years. Hi, I'm Pearl. I'm 12 years old. I do hunters, jumpers, and equitation on the county and A circuit. I also um, ride on the Interscholastic Equestrian Association team, um, also known as IEA. I get to go to Sacramento soon because I qualified for that show. Um, and I also belong to the United States Pony Club. Awesome. I'm, I'm Avalon and I'm 13 and I'm in eighth grade and I, I write at Rosewood Equestrian. Um, I do, my discipline is hunter jumpers uh, and I'm currently training my horse to get better at jumpers because he has a lot of corks to work on. Um, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you. Um, hi, I'm Kiara, and I ride Western and English, and um, I'm doing a Gymkhana at the Riders Field at, in April, and um, I've been riding for four years, and yeah, um, hi, I'm Aislinn, and I ride Western, and like you said, I'm, we're going to do a Gymkhana in April. And I'm 12 years old. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Anybody else that would like to introduce themselves? Monroe. Hi. I'm Monroe. I'm five, and I just had my first class at Sundance Equestrian. At Sundance Equestrian. That's fantastic. Well, thank you. I guess I'll ask the next question. It's so lovely to meet all of you guys. I hope you had a lovely day. And my question is, um, Coach Andy, could you tell us exactly what is the Elite Equestrian and Writing Club? We, we started out with our identity being geared towards high school competition and, and hopefully getting some of our riders that lived in LA County um, the opportunity to compete against other high schools, traditional high schools in, in LA County. And from that, it has grown into, as, as y'all heard Monroe speak, she got the ride for the first time, um, to we're learning more every week from this group. Um, Sky and Pearl and um, Murray, are involved in some 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 competitions and organizations that allow riders to pursue riding after high school, and so we'll have um, today the the ability to introduce horseback riding, the ability to support um, our riders. As you've heard, there's a couple different disciplines in here, and I know we have. A barrel racer and I'm probably missing one or two others as I'm still learning. Um, today the club is is about support, wanting to identify and connect with other riders within the school. We want to know who's going off to Sacramento in April and having a chance to compete. Uh, this group has been working for the last two months on designing a logo that we can um, work to help provide training saddle pads 
that's going to that's on our list that we're going to be addressing and finalizing at our next meeting as well as some t-shirt and some of our riders even are going to need for their training um, sun shirts and so we will be addressing that as a as a group because it's always now attracting new members that that anyway i'm proud and coaches talk too much y'all need to hear what what they're doing from from equan massage therapy i don't want to, i don't want us to miss that opportunity for all of us to learn a little bit more about that and um anyway thank you well thank you coach, coach andy we appreciate that go right ahead Jaden. all right so um i don't know if i was if we're asking every student here or just coach andy but how would someone uh, join the elite uh, writing club? I don't, I don't know the name of it. Still. Oh, Avalon. Avalon's going to help us with that one right there. Avalon, tell them how you can be a part of what we're doing. How easy is it, Avalon, to be a part of what we're doing? You can just simply just email or ask and be like, hey, I'm interested in doing the sport. To or their teacher, just... right? They would just ask their teacher if they wanted, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just oh, ask wow. your teacher whenever, and if you don't even have to do this for if you just want to know about it, you could just ask and join the club. Wasn't there a form? Because I saw in Parent Square there was a form for it. Also. I did. I sent around a form just to get this going, and now as as the form is kind of now going out after someone kind of raises their hand, and I maybe get an email from a teacher or one of the other members. Um, invites one of their their friends i mean we just had four come in last week together i know mm -hmm. that two of them are sitting in the room together aren't you so there's there's relationships already with some of these riders it's it's pretty darn cool yeah i kept on looking at the form wondering if i should fill it out but i never did because <laughs> my parents do, didn't though, love me. but if you do have an interest and we we i think most of us like animals or so would like to learn more mm -hmm. and if it's no more than just taking it off of our list in life just my mom thinks it's too dangerous for me so <laughs> i can do that one pearl is it dangerous how dangerous is is horseback riding um i love it so much that i don't get afraid any i don't i'm not nervous at all so how high are i got a question for you pearl how high are the fences that you jump over um, well, there's definitely different heights, but I do like two foot, two, three, and two, six. To six feet? Two foot, six. Two foot, six. Two foot, six inches? Cool. But Grand Prix is much higher. Cool. Wow. So if I laid on the ground, a horse could jump completely over me, huh? Some horses can at like the Grand Prix level, which is about six foot. Oof. So. Now, it do you do you help train the horse to jump, or do you ride a horse that already knows how to jump? Um, I do both. I'm working on two project horses right now, but I also have finished horses that I've trained and are now awesome. For oh, me. so now people will bring their horses to you to ride to help prepare for jumping yes. that aren't even your horses. So you're riding other people's horses now. Yes. Wow. Same way for you, Sky. Um, we just ride. We don't train any horses, or we don't even own any. So. Got it. So you just ride, and oh, is there a, is there a discipline, or is, do you do more like trail riding? How how did let us let us let me share that, please. Um. Well, I I want to start riding English again, and the. What is her ranch? SR Performance. It's with Sonia in Fallbrook, where yeah. we live. Oh. Got it. Got it. She teaches English and Western. I did do some jumping last week, but we usually just go over like pole bending or barrel racing. Oh, or... there's, the, there's the barrel racers, guys. There's somebody who can talk to you about some barrel racing. <laughs> All right, uh, Janelle, go right ahead. Do you need to know how to ride a horse to join the club? Um, well, no, you don't really need to know how. You just um, 
we're wel welcoming like anyone who wants to learn how or already knows how to ride. So, so wait, I could be a full on newbie. I could just still join the club. You could have yeah. never, never rode a horse before, Jaden. Oh, never yeah. even petted a horse. Perfect. <laughs> oh, shoot. Say that. I mean, I mean, apparently pros are uh, horses as tall as me, apparently. So you hey, need to give it, it a is. shot then. Hey, it is what it is. That's all I can say. All right. I think we have some more people joining, actually. Um, Wait, me, what? Yeah, let me drop them in real quick. One moment, everybody. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, and we have some new people that just joined us. We are recording. We are oh. uh, right now. So um, for those who just joined us, um, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Mike Kalper, and this is... Ilana. Hi, Ilana. Hello. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> nice to meet you. How old are you, Ilana? I'm eight years old. Awesome. Thank is you for joining ridden? us. Has she ridden before, Michael? Yeah, she's ridden before um, some trail rides, and then we've had a, like, three or four lessons with a rider instructor, so she's just starting to learn the positioning and everything, and then um, she, today she tried the vaulting for the first time, just some little minor stuff, so it was pretty cool. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, it was good. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we have been where we are interviewing everybody in the equestrian club. So when a question comes up, please feel free to jump in and answer as you see fit, but no pressure. Right. We're not going to go down the line and be like, this person has to answer this. Okay, um, we'll mute. We'll mute for now. Yeah. Okay. But it's, thank you right. for joining us. Yeah, thank and you. Then I see, yeah. Oh, no problem. And I see we have two more uh, young ones. Um, say hi. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm six years old. I'm six years old. I'm in kindergarten. I'm in kindergarten. I never ridden a horse. I haven't been horseback riding. I haven't been horseback riding. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. No, um, we're just like everybody else. I think we're going to learn a lot about horseback riding right now. Oh, hello. What's your name? I'm two. I'm two. She's two. Thank you for joining us. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump right back into the questions. Go right ahead, team. All right. So I just want to ask if you guys can tell us how you joined the club. Like, what made you first interested to join the club? Oh, Coach Andy, you're on mute. Could we hear what even got him into horse horses to begin with? You know, was it where did where did horseback riding start for you, Pearl? Um, I've been riding all my life, and um, my mom has also been riding for a long time. So I've pretty much started out with horses. Uh, horses were in your family growing as 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 since you remember. You don't remember horses not being around. I get it. How about you, Shay? Um. Well, kind of with Pearl. Uh, my mom used to jump in. Florida when she was a kid and she used to like go to the different shows and travel to like New Jersey and stuff so ever since like she's been telling me all these stories about her riding it kind of got me hooked on wanting to ride so, so we're seeing a, a little thread of being passed passed along a tradition a tradition how about with y'all Sky how did y'all two get started over there um, we first rode a horse when we were like five or six. Um, I don't know where it was. It was, it was at Sundance. That was the first place. Yeah. And then we, we, um, the girls rode for three years with Carrie Pearl's mom doing the English. And, um, they really developed a love of animals. And I think it's a great sport for kids, um, to be in. And, um, so they, but they've developed the love on their own for sure. Yeah. Um, you want to talk about Avalon? Um, for me, like, uh, like uh, Shay and 
Carl, both of my parents grew up riding horses. My mother grew up riding a bunch of Arabians and my father grew up riding a bunch of Mustangs. And for me, I've always just loved horses. Um, I finally got a horse a year ago for Matt, me and I just, I've always loved horses. I used to watch Westerns just for the horses. <laughs> All right, uh, what do students learn and how can they apply when they learn, what they learn, why they learn in their everyday life? Oh, let's go back to, let's go to Sky. Sky and your mom, your mom was getting, getting ready to, was sharing some, some, some perspective, you know, from parent perspective, if you would. From the kids here? Yeah, like, you know, yeah. you, you were sharing a little bit about why you thought it was horseback riding is so good for, for, for students, for youth, um, as, as a choice as a choice well i think it builds their confidence and i've certainly seen that with my girls um they're very mm -hmm. quiet and it's probably because i talk too much um <laughs> so i apologize but um you you know you could they really want to do it it's their they really have that in them to to do it and i think they love the challenge so you've seen a you've seen a, a a physical and an, an emotional change in your in, in the two uh, from from riding horses. Um, yeah, I I mean um, they've always been on the shyer, more timid side, and um, mm -hmm. I think horseback riding really allows um, kids that may be more shy to have an outlet that isn't mm -hmm. uh, necessarily focused on them directly, but they build up that confidence with interacting with the horses and also the instructors. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So overall, and they ride, they sort of ride the success of each other, both the horse and the rider. Yeah. Cause it really is their relationship with the horse and no parent you, you, it has to be their work with the animals. So it really is, it makes them feel good about themselves when they've had a good day with uh, mm -hmm. riding or, um, you know, bonding with the, the, the horses because horses do have a very interesting nature. They, they're very smart and they can be very stubborn. And um, so when you work with them and um, make them, you know, cooperate with you, that makes you feel real good as a, as a person. So it's good for the kids. perspective sometimes we don't see right off the top you know and and some of the the residual the residual of 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 just the just just the entertainment factor just the just the sheer pleasure but there is so much more that's going on. that's why I want to learn their names what's the horse's name that you work with even if you don't own one I know that they tend to work with the same horses um when they, when they go back, whether whether it's their particular oh, horse or not. Mm. Well, what you got I, next, Jaden? Uh, it's actually, wait, does Cindy go or? Nope, it's, it's, yep, it's Cindy. It's Cindy Janelle. Is oh, I thought Janelle was. <laughs> I'll go next then. Um, Wait, Janelle didn't go? Um, can you tell us about the first time you rode a horse? But I think that we already did that one. Mm -hmm. All right, Janelle. <laughs> on the... okay. Yeah, it's Janelle's turn. What is your favorite and least favorite part in riding a horse? Hmm. Ooh. Um, I don't really have a least favorite part, but... It's just so nice to have like a great day when you like reach the goal on your horse and you've had, they've understood what you were working to and just having them be a good team and appreciate everything. It's Raise your hand if you have to clean the stalls. All right. I'm not seeing everybody's hands. Is everybody not? Some don't have to clean stalls. Um, for me, it's like an every now and then thing. Usually, got it. 
people there who were hired to do it, but then usually I like to help, uh, I'll help them out and just clean my horse's stall for them. Got it. But you will, you will brush them down after, after every workout. Definitely. Yeah, I, yeah, I will. Otherwise they get Show your hands if you brush them down after every workout. Oh, so now I am getting every hand up. So there it is. Not everybody has to clean a stall, but they all brushing them down. Got it. Got it. All right. Go right ahead, Betsy. All right. And so what do students practice in the club? I think a summation to, 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 to help with that is you can see all the different practices that these that, that, that these athletes are, are are taking on, whether it be from barrel racing to jumping to a special type of jumping to again going to regional national invitational events to trying to find your next best coach or, the better horse to train on for the next opportunity. So as a club, we like to feel that we can support uh, any club member in any type of training or wherever they would like, or wherever they're coming from now, and to probably where they would like to, to get. Um, we haven't heard Shay share, for example, she shared with me recently about um, Equan massage therapy and I didn't know what that was you know she shared me briefly. either yeah and so there is something that's going on within the club that that's not really about riding but it sure is about the care of of horses and the care of of, of animals and um Anyway, I don't do it justice. Shay, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot. If you would just give us a little overview about the massage therapy and, and, and your goal and, well, CTE and athletics hope to support that goal as we move into your senior year with you. So we're excited about that. You want me to tell please. you? Yes, yeah, okay. so please give us just a little bit on, on, on what what equan massage and and what what draws you to it what what because okay. um, you're somebody that knows what they want to do in the 11th grade and and there's a lot of of of, of, of students that are still maybe in the 11th grade still trying to narrow it down to maybe five mm -hmm. or six things but you seem to have a pretty pretty smart vision and pretty clear outlook on on what uh, your steps are going to be moving forward yeah, okay, so um, equine massage is kind of like um, like if like an actual person or yourself were, was going to get like their own massage, <laughs> basically that, but on horses. And um, what drawn me to that was just wanting to do something for the rest of my life with like something that I really enjoy, the horses. And um my friend is a horse masseuse, so I've been learning a lot from her. Got it. I have a question very quick. Um, well, what's your favorite part about doing that, the massage horse thing? I'm not sure what it's called. Um, well, I just like, you're, well, you're with them the whole time and you like, there's like different pressure points on a horse and it's cool to see like the reaction and like how relaxed they get yeah that's awesome and it's, it's something i like, never thought of because they're like they're like highly trained athletes and so it, it it made a lot of sense in in my world when looking at look at the look at the lakers or the dodgers they all have trainers three or four or five plus on staff to mm -hmm. go with doctors to keep those those athletes ready to perform and the same with uh, um, the horses. Do you, do riders start to think about nutrition? Always. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, Is nutrition in your thought? Let me see some hands, riders. So I got them. I'm seeing them. Seeing them. Shay. Yes. 
Okay, good, good. It's not all on the horse then. You up, Jaden? Oh yeah, I was, I was actually for this day, if anybody else wants to say anything else. All right. Um, can you guys- Wait, can I say one more thing? Go ahead. Please. I'm sorry, Jaden, I just <laughs> have a question. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for Shay again about the massage thing. I can't get out of my head now. <laughs> but like, do you do it while they're like standing? Like, do you do it while they're standing? Um, yeah, it, so they're usually like um, in cross ties. So they're like attached to something to where you don't have to worry that they're gonna run away or something. <laughs> Okay. So wait, don't horses like stand up twenty four seven and they like sit down or lay down? Don't that mean like they're dead or something like that? No. Pearl, um, does your horse lay down? Um, sometimes when they're really tired, they lay down, or when they're sunbathing. Oh, okay. Also, okay. I think when they're giving birth, they also lay down. They. I'm trying to think, <laughs> but like, uh, right. also, um, what's your least favorite part about the massage thing? I feel like I keep on asking so many questions. I'm sorry, Jaden. It's cool. So that gives me time to prepare. Um, I don't know if I have a least favorite part. <laughs> There's really nothing like that's bad about it, but I don't like it. So. Well, that's a good career to, to pursue right there, isn't it, Nolan? Agreed. I think it's great. And I think it's great that you found something that you love to do and that's something that's a necessity to, to the horse. And I really loved Coach Andy's draw to an athlete would need that. So, they of do. course, a horse would need it. But we would never think that if we're not in no, that world. No, never so. even thought about it. Yeah, I never thought about it. It shows that there's so many jobs that people don't even know that they might have in the future or even think that they might have right now. And we're already having discussions that, as you're as you're saying that on building um, equine massage therapy in a CTE course for next year, for just so that we can begin working and helping Shay. We're also working as we're learning. I've got a bunch of of of, of, of information in the last four four days that we're going to expand on to build curriculum for our riders to be able to get logs, um, credit, and be geared towards the world of, of, of equestrian. So I'm, I'm excited. And the, the, y'all are going to be a part of bringing it to life. You're going to be the resources and the tools that we, that we really want to draw from and uh, make this happen. This is going to be so exciting. To watch, to watch you could tell coach andy's just excited for this it's like a, I do, a whole I new do. world and we're it excited is. that we're yes. we're building it with all the students so super excited i know Jaden. we keep taking away that question go for it man <laughs> it's all you all right <laughs> well um next question can you guys describe what your day-to-day -day will look like uh with all this happening with school and all that good question um well, I ride two to three horses a day, six days a week. Um, I'm always helping my mom uh, feed and water, take care of them. We're also prepping for shows a lot because I go to the horse shows on the weekends and I'm always pretty busy. Sounds like a busy schedule, yeah. Anybody um, else have a... And you study, Pearl, you, you, you study more in the evenings than in the mornings? Um, well, my mom gives lessons, and so I help her with that in the morning. But Got it. Said, so you, do, you, you tend to do your schoolwork, and Elite allows you to do your schoolwork when it's more convenient after the feeding and after the, 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 the morning yeah. routine. See, yeah. Yeah, that's so cool that you get to set it all up to do yours in the afternoon. And Jaden may knock out some before breakfast and then some after lunch, right, Jaden? Wait, what? Can you repeat that one more time? No, it's just the flexibility of elite being able to allow those oh. to, build, to build to build the schedule. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Well, and I think that's been a big part because we talked about that before on a previous podcast and where we had Jaden and Janelle and everybody. And we talked about that flexibility 
and yeah, yeah. how how yeah. you're able to use that for you know whatever it is you may do so it's so cool to know that that flexibility is allowing everybody to here yeah. to be able to to do what they want to do to work with horses and to ride and you know to do things they enjoy and then they can still knock out their academics throughout the day Sky, do y'all ride appreciate. in the morning or do y'all ride in the in the afternoons um i ride throughout the day you ride throughout the day how about sky how about y'all do y'all ride in the mornings um on um tuesdays we ride in the afternoon and then on fridays we ride in the morning got it shay how about you um tuesday afternoons and uh thursday morning so i rode this morning so you get a little afternoon you get you did okay Alana, how about you? When when are you when are you are you riding in the afternoon? Is that when Dad's got you set up? I ride Thursday in the morning or in the afternoon. Got it. Oh, but, but Thursday's gotcha. Okay. Thursdays. Thursday's a good riding day, it seems. Is that because y'all get in the habit of it before you go to tournaments on the weekend? So you want to go ride on a Thursday, let the horse rest on Friday before you go to the tournament? Does do you think like that? No, no. Okay. Coach is out there on that one. Sorry. <laughs> it, it, there's no such thing as a bad question, man. So no. <laughs> All right, Janelle, go right ahead. What makes the club exciting? We're witnessing, aren't we? I think so. And I think it's so individual, right? Like it everybody, is. it's it different is. for everybody. You know, Shay's experience is going to be different than Sky's, you know, mm -hmm. which will be different than Pearl's. Um, and, but we've been seeing that excitement so much just when you talk about it. Like you could tell, like, this is something you really love. Shay, do you remember the first time you rode a horse? Um, yeah, that was at um, this like fair. And I was like, I think I was five or something. And it was just like you go in the circle or whatever. <laughs> Hey, Monroe, Monroe, do you remember the first time you rode a horse? I think she left. That's okay. And Pearl and Sky, and we can go right through the list. I bet every one of you remember that, don't you? You kind of, you, th th those moments. And so to me, that's, that's one of the things that's special that really connects to each one of these, whether we see them in the 10th, 11th, 8th grade, or whether we're seeing them down here with Nate Jr., who's going to get on a horse, hopefully here for the first time in the next month to two months. And then all of them will get to relive that, that very experience again through Nate Jr., because you all connected. I saw all of you smile when Monroe got to tell you she rode a horse last week. Oh, right on. Every yeah. one of us, yep. <laughs> I know, I know, we're, I know, we're getting close to out of time. So, I'm sorry. Let's yeah, go. we actually got one more question. I want to pass Beautiful. that to Betsy. So, is there anyone that you guys look up to? Who's your idol in the riding world, Pearl? Um, my friend Skylar Wireman is. She does really well in the equitation and. Um, recently competed in a Grand Prix with her new horse and she's, it's just great to look up to her and actually know her very well because I drove across the country to Kentucky to go to oh, a wow. horse show as well. Wow. How cool. Wow. wow. Isn't that cool? That's exciting. That's awesome. Yeah. Avalon. Avalon. Yep. Go right ahead. Avalon. Oh, Avalon took off. She had to go. How about yep. you, Shay? Is that your friend that got you into the equine massage? Yeah, but I don't really have like someone specific who I look up to. I just like looking at um, like watching like my trainer or like my friends who also ride and jump and stuff like, but um, I just went to a show this past weekend and like watched and took photos of the riders and it's just cool to see like how their form and position is like perfect so like that kind of makes me like want to try harder mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sky how about y'all who we... 
Um, I don't really know. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> I, I look up to this other girl. She's only 13 years old. She rides at the same barn that they are. And just, yeah, Josie, um, just because she's one year older. And um, whether, I think they're aware of, you know, just from what a year riding for them can look like for them. Sure, in a year. right. So now you get these yard, sort of these yard sticks and, and, and yeah. obtain, obtainable levels, I guess, is, is, is where they look at it. Yeah, and um, she just um, competed this last weekend in her first barrel race, and she won first in her youth division. Oh, and, how cool, you know, right on. Yeah, so I think she's a great role model, and the girls really like her too, um, but just, you know, something kind of attainable so mm -hmm, that, you mm -hmm. know, in a year, if you keep working hard, then they can be there too, you know, so. Right. It's. I look up to Josie, and um, and it's glad, and it's always good to have it when it's when it, when it's close, when it's close and observable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good practice habits, I bet too, right? Good practice habits with the with the with the model with the role model. Yeah, and um, she she volunteers or helps a lot where they go. So she goes and she feeds all the animals and um, oh, gives wow. them. So she's learning a lot by being there. And um, she's, there every day. she's there every day helping. So I think it's a great uh, uh, work ethic too for the girls to look up to. Um, Cause as we get older in our teen years, it's important. Um, important to know that our work is what we're working to in, in the long run, like as an adult. So all these little things that we're learning now will add up to a lot by the time they graduate high school. I, so, I see I see a room full of, 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 of young people that are really proud to put their name on what they're doing. And mm -hmm. that would transcend down off the horse and back into the stable and making sure that it's fed properly and not cutting the corners because mm -hmm. it's not just about me. It is my responsibility to my partner in this endeavor, really. So, yeah. so cool. Good point. Absolutely. Well, that was our last question. I'd like to turn it over to Cindy Lou. I believe she has a message for us and then she will go ahead and mm -hmm. take us home. Go right ahead, Cindy Lou. Yes. Okay, I'm just so nervous about saying this, but like, oh, okay. Um, I want just want to thank everyone for coming here first before I say things. Um, I think that everyone had a great time. Well, I had a great time. And um, what I wanted to talk about was um, the kindness ambassadors cause for. I think it's April. Before April, I think it is. Um, we're going to do the homeless cause and. Uh, I just wanted to say this to reach more people because it is on Parent Square. Not yet, but it will be on Parent Square. And I hope hopefully by the time that this is on this is posted, it'll be on Parent Square. And I will put below in the description how you can help and more about the cause and like what we're doing to help and do. So if you like to help, please look at the description. And I think I'll put the Parent Square links if it is finished by the time during that time. And that's all I wanted to say. So now I'll move on to the outro. I mean, the outro. Mm. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this time and this episode. And please don't forget to check out our previous episode, which I think was the Harry Potter episode. And um, thank you all for coming here and being our guests. Um, and thank you, Coach Andy, for being our guest. Of, I think we're going to have another episode with you in the future as well. And we will. There's more Coach Andy to come. Yes. <laughs> you just have to be on the lookout. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to uh, watch our previous episodes and be on the lookout for our future episodes. We upload every other Friday. Yes. And also, make sure um, you all subscribe. Like, there on. we go. We're, we're, third, we're desperate. Just support man. our content. We're, we're desperate. Oh, we, will. Right? we will. We will. As a club, we, we will support. We didn't even know there was an opportunity. So, Jaden, I just learned today there is an opportunity to support. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's either like or follow you 
or follow the, what y'all are doing. You can and support so by liking if and subscribing and watching it, all our podcast episodes. And also share with your friends. Maybe y'all need to do a podcast on the podcast so that <laughs> So we can, everybody can know about the podcast while you watch the podcast. Exactly. Ooh, that's a good one. It's almost like a picture within a picture within a picture kind of thing. Yeah. And I'm going to say like one last in closing while I have all my writers together. Please look for emails. I do want to con your continued support as we build the directory. We do have some things I want to finalize so that you, we can get each individual's order for what they may need coming up. So plan on April 7th. Um, we'll get back together and finalize some of that. I really appreciate each one of you that showed up today. I really do. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Andy. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Cindy Lou, for the outro. We'll see you all yeah. next time. Oh, I just want to say thank you to everyone. And thank you for the podcast, for being the podcast. I love the podcast so much. <laughs> it makes me so all happy. Right. <laughs> Goodbye. I hope you all have a lovely thank day. You. And like this podcast. Thank you, Mom. Thank you.